Welcome to Live Interactive English, and I'm Karen. Hello, everybody. I am Shane, and today we are talking about cow hassium. Huh? It's called cow shong. If it's called cow shong, why is it spelled with a K and H S I U? <laughs> like it's such a weird. Okay, that's cow shong. It's cow shong. That's right. The spelling is so weird sometimes of Chinese into English. Okay, cow shong, where industry. Meets artistry. Part That's one. right. Have you been to Gaoshang? You know, I have been to Gaoshang,、mm -hmm. but I don't really remember what I saw in Gaoshang compared to what I saw in other places.、Huh. Because a lot of the traveling I did in Taiwan is when I first came to Taiwan, and somebody like was taking me around. My father-in-law. Oh. And my my wife's family. So they were driving, and they said, "Okay, we're here in blah blah blah." But I don't really <laughs> know the names yet because they say Gaoshong, and I see K A O H S I. So I don't really、remember. know. Remember. So I might have been there. I do remember when I went there. There was like a love river. It was so <gasps> beautiful. That's right. There. You know, I went to Gaoshong like many, many, many years ago, and、yeah. I kind of forgot a lot of things about Gaoshong, just、yeah. like you. But I did a little bit of research before you know we started. Doing this article,、mm. but I know other than the Love River, there's a lot of things that we can do in Gaoshang.、Awesome. You can also go to the Buddha, Muse Buddha Buddha Museum, and then there's also the Dragon Tiger Tower, and、Ooh. there's like a lot of things that you can do. It's very very well developed now. Okay, so there's a lot of tourist spots there, and apparently there's a lot of. Artistry there、ah, now too. That's right. So why don't we get into today's lesson and find out what we could do in, in Kaohsiung? <coughs> Kaohsiung. Okay. Let's go. Located near the southern tip of Taiwan. Gaoshong City has long been known as a center of industry. In recent years, however, the port city has been transformed into a budding tourist destination where design, art, and nature exist side by side. A trip to Gaoshong must include Wei Wuying, also known as the National Gaoshong Center for the Arts. The structure's unique look echoes that of a Banyan forest, with the roof's curved design bringing to mind bulging treetops. Wei Wuying is the biggest single-roof arts center in the world and is home to Asia's largest pipe organ, which contains over 9,000 pipes. Okay, as promised, Gaoshong. Where industry meets artistry,、mm -hmm. part one. And I'm sure we're going to learn something we haven't even heard of before, right? I cannot wait to find out more and more. It seems like it's changed a lot since we've been there. That's right. Okay, well, let's get into it. <laughs> Located near the southern tip of Taiwan, Gaoshang City has long been known as a center of industry. So, what does it mean when I say it has been long been known as a center of industry? All right. So, for a long time, basically, when you think of this place, if you know about Gaoshang,、mm -hmm. you will just think of it as a center of industry.、Mm. It's just like industrial stuff. You don't、exactly. really think like, let's go there for tourism. Mm -hmm. right. But I think it has definitely changed a lot over the years.、Right. So in recent years, however, the port city has been transformed into a budding tourist destination where design, art, and nature exist side by side.、What、so when it said budding, yeah, I was going to ask you, what does that mean? What is what's that budding? Budding, a budding tourist destination. So you're talking about like a bud, like a flower bud, right? right. That is ready to bloom.、Mm -hmm. That's ready to open up. So, so it's, it's already it's kind of like opening,、yes. and it's just gonna you know it's not even got to its full potential of beauty yet,、mm -hmm, right? Exactly. Okay, so to transform that's our vocabulary word, which is a verb. It means to completely change the appearance or character of something or somebody,、mm -hmm. especially so that it is better,、mm -hmm. and so basically just to completely change an appearance or character. That's right. Right. So, for example, you could say the historic area beside the river has been transformed into an outdoor mall. So that's something that's completely different, right? Yes. Okay. 
So continuing our reading, a trip to Kaohsiung must include Wei Wu Ying, hmm. also known as the National Kaohsiung Center for the Arts. Hmm. Oh yeah, it's so beautiful, right? I saw the picture too. Yeah, the structure's unique look echoes that of a banyan forest with wow. the roof's curved design bringing to mind bulging treetops. That really sounds amazing, and I did see the picture for this. It's very, very yeah. unique, right? So usually when we think about like just a structure or any kind of building, it's usually very boring, but not this There's one. There's like a lot of like perpendicular angles, right? So exactly. to kind of see these curves and stuff, it's really cool. I really like the design, and I think it's very, very special and unique. It, so we have this word to echo. echo. So it said it echoed a banyan tree, right? Mm, that's right, but you know, oftentimes when we talk about echo, like maybe you're in a cave right. and you're talking and you'll be like hello it will be like, hello hello oh, hello oh. hello hello echo but right here we're actually saying it as to imitate right. so for example the movie's title echoes a line from a 17th century poem right so mm. it's kind of using that thing just like an echo it comes out and then it just comes back again right mm -hmm. all right so we're talking about the roof's curved design mm -hmm. right so curve as a verb means to move or make something move in the shape of a curve. Like not straight, but kind of goes up and down like a wave, right? Right, so here we're talking about the design of the roof being a curved design, mm -hmm. right? So our example sentence, the path curves to the left up ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wei Wu Ying is the biggest single roof art center in the world Ooh. and is home to Asia's largest pipe organ, which contains over 9,000 pipes. <gasps> hmm, pipe organ. Yeah. It's home to the biggest pipe organ. That's like an instrument, right? That yep. contains over 9,000 pipes. Wow, that's it sounds like it would be a really play cool place to visit just because, number one, you can see the biggest single roof art center in the world. That's right. And the largest pipe organ in the world. Mm-hmm. Oh, there I would go to Gaussian just for that, because yeah. I am an art lover. And then you can see lots of art there. Exactly, but I think there's definitely more to Gaussian than just that. Let's find out after the break. That's good. <laughs> Hello, 大家好,我是Hanny。我们这两天要跟着课文一起去高雄旅游。那么课文标题用到Where Industry Meets Artistry,来描述高雄。那么Artistry就是指艺术性,艺术造诣。它跟前面这个industry工业就有压郁嘛，那用来强调说高雄现在是艺术和工业并存的地方。好，那么长久以来高雄一直被称为工业中心，近年来这个港都已经转型成一个新兴旅游景点。我们补充一下，bud当名词
A block away from the Arts Center is Weiwu Mimi Art Village, a small public housing neighborhood full of brightly painted apartment buildings. The colorful buildings in this area have made it a popular spot for social media photo opportunities. Weiwu Mimi Art Village began to take shape in 2016 thanks to the Walriers Street Art Festival, which invites artists to breathe new life into Kaohsiung's old communities. To date, over 90 artists from 25 countries have created everything from cartoons to detailed animal drawings, which amounts to nearly 200 distinct works of art in the neighborhood. Welcome back, everyone. So before the break, we learned a little bit about Kaohsiung already, right? Wow. And we learned that it has really transformed from something that's very different to a place with a lot of great art and then a lot of fun places to visit too, right? Yeah, it used to be just kind of like a place where you just expect to see industrial stuff. And like factories. Right, and now it's a budding tourist destination. Yes. Right, and we learned a little bit about the Weiwu Ing, which mm -hmm. is the Kaohsiung City uh, Center for the Arts. That's right. right. Continuing, a block away from the art center is Weiwu Mimi Art Village. Aw, it has such a cute name. Mimi, Weiwu <laughs> Mimi. A small public housing neighborhood full of brightly painted apartment buildings. Mm. Oh, it looks so cool, right? I saw the pictures. They wow. have a lot of beautiful murals on the buildings, right? I think this is a really good idea, and I wish they would do that in Taipei, because there are some really, like if you're on the MRT yes. and you start looking out the windows, it is so ugly looking at these old buildings. <laughs> they, they Not all of them are old. <laughs> a lot of them are. And they really, it's just kind of an eyesore. When my dad came to visit, he mentioned that. So I think we could do that here in Taipei. That's right. But you know, mentioning when we were talking about these like murals, brightly painted apartment buildings, I visited Montreal in Canada, huh? and they also have a lot of these beautiful painted apartments. I think it's a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> and the colorful buildings in this area have made it a popular spot for social media photo opportunities. And of course, you go and visit Gaoshan, you want to post some beautiful pictures for your friends to see on social media, post it on Absolutely. Instagram, post it on Facebook. They'll be like, oh, where is this beautiful place? For sure, the next time I go, I'm definitely going to go there for some photo ops. That's right. So a, a photo op is a photo opportunity, right? Mm -hmm. So what is an opportunity? Opportunity is a time when a particular situation makes it possible to do or achieve something. Mm -hmm. So for example, you can say, if you have the opportunity to study abroad, I think you should take it. I think you should take it too. Yes. It's so a great opportunity. If you have the opportunity to go to Kaohsiung, you should take advantage of some of the photo opportunities. Definitely. In the Weiwu Mimi Village. Oh, you're very good. It's <laughs> such a cute name and easy to remember. <laughs> Weiwu Mimi Art Village began to take shape in 2016 thanks to the Warrior Street Art Festival, which invites artists to breathe new life into Kaohsiung's old communities. So I think they really wanted to change the looks of Kaohsiung, and that is why a lot of art has been created. That's why they invite a lot of artists, right? Yeah, and I like the idea of breathing new life into like an old community, mm -hmm. right? Because with time, of course, buildings are starting to look older, and then maybe the paint that was originally on there is going to start getting dark from pollution and stuff. That's right. So you breathe some new life into it. That's cool. And it totally changes the appearance of Kaohsiung. Right. So to date, over 90 artists from 25 countries have created everything from cartoons to detailed animal drawings, which amounts to nearly 200 distinct works of art in the neighborhood. And I think that's a really good idea because if you just uh, hire one artist or just a few, maybe they a lot of buildings would look very, very similar. But right. you are actually getting many, many different artists from different countries and every artist has their own style, unique style of painting. So right. every building you look at, every apartment you look at, it will be completely different, It'll right? Distinct. Exactly. Distinct and is an adjective and basically just means clearly different or of a different kind. Right. So for example, the new watch comes in three distinct designs. So that means these three designs are completely different, right? Yeah, that sounds mm -hmm. really cool. I love it when artists get together and try to, they, yeah, they come together to change 
the urban landscape, mm -hmm. you know, because a build, I mean, a neighborhood with full of buildings could start to feel really cold. And especially old communities too, yeah. with the old buildings and then it's very old and then a lot of the same apartments or same buildings, structures. So you want to see something fresh. You want to see something a little bit different, right? Yeah, and especially if you live there, right? This is really, it's your community. So let's come together and like make it beautiful. Exactly. That's so cool. Okay, I really want to visit Kaohsiung once again. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right, and we will learn more about Kaohsiung in part two. Let's do it. Okay. Chomanly 拍照机会 那其实photo opportunity 可以简称为photo op 用来指可能是名人正要他们的这种媒体拍照时间 具有这个雏形方副词片语时例如 A scary monster lived in the cave 好,那现在我们把这个地方副词片语 in the cave 移到句首,然后经过倒装之后变成 in the cave lived a scary monster 洞穴里住着一只恐怖的怪物。好,那注意一下,如果主词是代名词的话,我们就不用跟动词倒装咯。像 here comes the bus 公车来了。如果你把 the bus 改成代名词 it, 我们就要写作 here it comes 看到动词 comes 它是维持在主词 it 的后方就没有倒装了。好,第二个重点是 breathe new life into 或是to 再加名词这是表达为什么来注入新生命啊为什么带来新气象这个动词 breathe 在这边是当及物用是表达为什么带来将什么注入那这个动词呢你也可以改用give或者是bring来表示 例如 the puppy has brought new life into their home 那只是小狗狗为他们家带来新气象好那么以上今天讲解同学别走开马上回来哦located near the southern tip of Taiwan, Kaohsiung City has long been known as a center of industry. In recent years, however, the port city has been transformed into a budding tourist destination where design, art, and nature exist side by side. A trip to Kaohsiung must include Wei Wuying, also known as the National Kaohsiung Center for the Arts. The structure's unique look echoes that of a banyan forest with the roof's curved design bringing to mind bulging treetops. Wei Wuying is the biggest single-roof arts center in the world and is home to Asia's largest pipe organ, which contains over 9,000 pipes. A block away from the arts center is Wei Wu Mimi Art Village, a small public housing neighborhood full of brightly painted apartment buildings. The colorful buildings in this area have made it a popular spot for social media photo opportunities. Wei Wu Mimi Art Village began to take shape in 2016 thanks to the Walriers Street Art Festival, which invites artists to breathe new life into Kaohsiung's old communities. To date, over 90 artists from 25 countries have created everything from cartoons to detailed animal drawings which amounts to nearly 200 distinct works of art in the neighborhood.
Lu Kong Kids, tucked away in a quiet alley behind Lu Kong Wenwu Temple, was founded by the Chong brothers, who have a passion for collecting antiques. What would have been seen as outdated toys or cars by others are treasures to the Chong brothers. Having collected antiques for nearly two decades, the Chong brothers decided to open a restaurant and share their collection with fellow antique lovers, which is how Lu Kong Kids came into being. You can't help but feel amazed when walking into Lu Kong Kids. There are replicas of a traditional general store with shelves of candy, a movie ticket booth covered in posters, a retro Chinese medicine shop, an old record store, a toy store stacked with various toys, and even vintage Vespas as the cherry on top of the cake. Visitors are taken back in time by these decorations, which depict old Taiwan on a small scale. Even the menu is made of old school books and vocabulary books, which bring back warm memories. Traditional Taiwanese food is served in this vintage restaurant. The Chong brothers use their grandmother's recipes to cook delicious braised food that is given humorous names. For example, Kid's Whispers is cold marinated pig's ear, braised chewing gum is braised pork intestines, braised little angels refers to duck wings, Super Mario Brothers is a mix of shiitake mushrooms and oyster mushrooms, and braised rubber bands are handmade thin noodles with a perfect texture. Every dish is thoroughly braised to a golden brown and is made perfect with Superstar, a refreshing lemon drink. <laughs>